In this video, I want to introduce the concept of Moodle dynamic banners and dynamic theming, which is a little bit of CSS and JavaScript that can be added to your Moodle instance that will dynamically redecorate your Moodle courses based on a series of rules. So most organizations will have a visual identity which they want to maintain throughout their Moodle theme, but they also may wish to sub-brand so that they can identify, for instance, content within te particular teaching departments, faculties, etc. So in this example, there may be a main branding theme, but within the childcare area, a different banner is applied. Similarly, within, for instance, hair, horticulture, hospitality, you can get the idea. In essence, what's happening with these dynamic banners is they're reading information out of Moodle and use that information to dynamically construct not only the content of the banner, so the text that you can see here and here, but also the background image that's used within that banner. So let me show you how that works. Effectively, it gets all its information from a combination of both the breadcrumbs and whatever course settings are applied to this course. So if I go into edit settings here, this text that you can see here is extracted from what is shown here based on a, on a recipe effectively. So if I was to change that, let's say that this is a new course code, ABC123. My new course. Now the way that this organization identifies their teaching area is to give it a, a code. So for instance, HOSP for hospitality and a year of delivery, so 2018. So I'm just going to copy that text also into the short name. And if I save that, we'll see what effect that's had. So let's have a look. First of all, the new course title is displayed here. The code has been extracted out of that title. So this ABC123 and it's displayed here. The audience is displayed and the year of delivery is also watermarked into the logo. And therefore, all of the semantic information about what's the course, what's the code, etc., is available, but also the visual dif differentiation that provided through the dynamic banner also means that you can really quickly identify this course in this teaching department versus a similar course, say, in the agriculture department or allied health. Now, of course, this banner switcher that you're seeing here, that's only in my test course. That's not a feature of the standard template, for instance, but it allows me to quickly demonstrate to you how this technique can be used to rapidly redecorate a set of Moodle courses based on those business rules. I'll give you a, a different example from a different organization. This is a proof of concept now for Monash. The idea is very similar. The banner is constructed again dynamically based upon information in the course title, etc. But the ways that the rules for decoration are different. And in this case, the decoration is based upon the hierarchy within the Moodle categories. So Moodle categories can be set up to effectively um, give the organizational structure. So in this case, within the Faculty of Arts is a School of Media, and then there's this particular course. The visual identity, the branding, if you like, can be applied at each and every level of that category hierarchy hierarchy. So within this School of Media and the Arts, that's the banner. If I move down into Film and Journalism, a different banner, Faculty of Arts, a different banner, and then the, the generic banner for everything else, the generic Monash banner. So again, a different implementation of the same concept where intelligence is gathered from the course itself. I'll go back to show you that. And similarly, as before, I could go in here, edit the settings, change the details, and those details will dynamically update into the banner. I'll give you a third example, which is a bit of a departure from those uh, two previous ones. This is for a brand new project. It's called the Regional Tape Alliance Project. Uh, it's actually got a, a slightly different problem. This is a consortia of seven different TAFE providers, all of which have their own Moodle theming, it could be a version of Clean or Boost or in this case, Snap, 
Snap, if you've never met it before, is a, a particularly lovely theme. It's very, very good at um, uh, being responsive to mobile devices. It looks really lovely. And if I was to go into a course, for example, and I'll quickly demonstrate the theme as itself, it is quite visually different than a lot of more traditional Moodle themes. It has some really nice features such as independent progress through each of these areas. So as, as a student completes parts within a section, they can be tracked for their completion in that section. You'll also know it's, notice it's got some really nice clean layout features. And the, the really big difference for those that are familiar with Moodle is it doesn't have a turn editing on or off button. Editing is just on all the time. And it's sort of subtly placed on the screen. So I'm in it as an editing teacher and I can edit this content just by hitting the pen symbol. So there's no longer that concept of toggling between turn editing on and off. It's just on all the time for those that have that capability. However, the principal problem that this needs to be addressed is that not all of the providers who consume this content will be on this SNAP theme. And they'll want to preview it on our Moodle prior to taking a copy of that course and migrating it to their own. And in order to do that, they need to be able to see this course not under the SNAP theme necessarily, but perhaps under a theme which is more closely aligned to their organizational theme. So in this case, there's a theme switcher. Choose theme, we're on the SNAP at the moment. If I click clean, it will redecorate that course now using the clean theme. This is, by the way, a lot of organizations use this clean theme. And so this will be much more familiar to somebody if that organization is using that theme. Another um, increasingly popular theme is a Boost theme. Boost is becoming more and more popular because it's become part of Moodle Core. And then there's a couple of other fringe uh, themes like Move, Fordson, and uh, Aardvark that are in use by other providers. So in this way, in this example, we're not necessarily changing the decoration of the course itself, but what we're doing instead is giving people opportunities to swap themes. Again, this is all controlled by a little bit of JavaScript and CSS that can be added to your Moodle instance. And by doing it through that approach, we're not introducing new plugins and we're not by any stretch of the imagination changing any of the Moodle core code. And so this is a really safe and scalable solution because if and as uh, plugins update and Moodle versions change, etc., it's no biggie. You can quickly tweak the code if you need to, and you're away again. The other great advantage, if I go back to this example, is as well as creating that sort of top-down visual identity, it means now that you can concentrate much more of your time on the bit that matters, which is what's on screen, the content down here, so that teachers don't spin their wheels worrying about how they decorate their course. They can be much more pragmatic and be thoughtful about, well, what goes onto the page itself. So I hope that helps.